The stories of the men and women who served this country are often told through images not usually seen by the general public. Moments captured by the military's own combat photographers. Air Force Staff Sergeant Juan Femith introduces us to those who tell the military story through photographs and the man who is focused on getting more eyes on their work. There is a different kind of warrior on the battlefield that thrives behind the scenes. One that shoots not through the rear sight of an M16, but through the viewfinder of a digital camera. Military photographers have documented nearly every major conflict to include current operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Not only do these photographs serve an operational and historical purpose, they also tell the intimate story of our men and women in uniform risking their lives on a daily basis. We uh, deploy all over the world. Um, it could be at a moment's notice, uh, and we work anything from actual war to humanitarian missions. Unfortunately, these images are rarely seen by the general public. Los Angeles curator Dane Jensen is trying to change that. Mixing photojournalism with fine art, his exhibition, Eye of the Storm, showcases the work of nine of the most talented and professional military photographers in the United States. To see uh, war through the lens of American combat photographers uh, and see uh, what the everyday soldier is doing. The event features 35 limited edition prints that often tell an atypical and honest depiction of war to include humanitarian missions, the training of Iraqi forces, and the day-to-day -day life of the American soldier. But it's not all death and destruction. You know, there's, there's soldiers out there doing their jobs, and they're doing it well. And I'm just out there documenting, and I'm showing the good. You know, I'm showing the beauty in it, the color. The sale of these prints will be donated to the Wounded Warriors Project, a nonprofit charity organization that provides assistance to injured servicemen and women. Eye of the Storm will be on display at the Reform Gallery in Los Angeles until July 5th. Jensen then hopes to tour the exhibit to different parts of the country and if there is interest to destinations worldwide. I think the images are important enough that uh, uh, and, and I think they're compelling enough where people will have a lot of different opinions and they'll approach it from different angles. These images are a constant reminder of the sacrifices made by today's service members and show a side of war not often told by the mainstream media. I like to say that I shoot for the soldier, the everyday soldier. I really owe a lot of thank yous to them for the great access that they gave me, not just physically, but emotionally, because that really conveys through my photos. They're the personal stories of military members told by airmen, soldiers, sailors, and Marines. And, and as a photographer, that's what I try to do, is I, I want to leave my mark in history some way. I want to leave a legacy. I want to leave a mark in uh, my lifetime. Reporting from Los Angeles, California, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Juan Femath. Along with those combat photographers, the Pentagon Channel has quite a few videographers who are on the front lines, and we appreciate their coverage. That's it for this edition of Around the Services. For the Pentagon Channel, I'm Petty Officer Liz Murray. Thanks for watching.